Yo, what is going on today, YouTube? Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Today's video, we're talking about a question that Agro asked me on the Backliners podcast. He asked me a god in every role that I'm really excited to see and a god in every role that I do not want to see at all. And I thought this is a really good question because everyone knows what you kind of want to see. I've at least been asked, you know, what gods do you want to see? And I'm, I've mentioned it, but I've really been asked which gods do I not want to see. So I figured I'd just put a video together to talk about five that I want, five that I don't want, one from every role. So we'll have a guardian, a warrior, a hunter, a mage, and an assassin. And then we'll also have the exact same thing of gods that I do not want to see. I'm curious what you guys think also. What's a god in every role that you want to see and a god in every role you do not want to see? I am curious what the general public or at least my community thinks about this question. We're going to use this just so I can kind of see some of the gods also. Starting with guardians because it's just the, the leftmost. That's the only reason I chose it. The god I most want to see is Sylvanas. I feel like that's really obvious and I don't really care. I understand why they're kind of holding him to last, but it still hurts me because he is probably my favorite guardian by a long margin and I, I have a lot of just fun ideas of, of and stuff that I want to do with him. And I think he has like a lot of outplay potential. So I like all that, but I get why they're holding off on him. The guardian that I least want to see is Serb. I hate this character. I have never found him fun. I think his passive is really lame. He's very easy to play, but also easily countered. So he's not really fun. I don't know. I just do, don't enjoy this character. Like most of these other characters, I would rather see. The only other one that's in contention is Ganesh, but... I'm curious if they can put like a cooler spin on Ganesh to make him more interesting because I kind of like the defensive supports, but Serb is just meh. For Warriors, easy. Easy, easy, easy. Her Vamana. Guys, I'm addicted to this character. I love going big mode. I love going big mode. Super easy, simple character, and you either love it or hate it, but I just love being in that alt, and I love being just a, a nuisance to deal with. Vamana far and away is the, the warrior that I'm most excited to have. The one I'm least excited to have... Probably like Nike. Most of the Warriors, it's just like, if they're fun, I like them. If they're not fun, I don't like them. And I think Nike is probably the most boring god in the game. Nike is not something I enjoy. Her one is really simple. She's like Vamana in terms of annoying, but she's also not fun to play. So there's like no upside to her. Just bleh. For Hunters, we have my favorite Hunter, which is on her. So it's like my second favorite. And it's Danzaburo. He is just such an interesting little creature, how he plays. You don't have a Hunter that plays like him. Most other Hunters play somewhat similar, but he's like an assassin Hunter. And he's also like takes more from an assassin than even some assassins do. Because he's got like that all in ultimate. And then he's got like the trickery in his three. He's got like a good amount of CC, good amount of damage, good amount of burst. He is so fun to me. Uh, uh, Danzaburo, far and away, is a god I'm excited for. The hunter that I'm least excited for, um, honestly, all of them are pretty, at least decently exciting, just because I want to see what Hyrus is going to do. I'll say Marty. I think Marty's boring. He's kind of like a ripoff AMC, but like safer. And if it's his numbers are bad, he's just a bad character. If his numbers are good, he's a good character. Kind of like AMC, but AMC you can kill when you're diving him, and Marty just goes into the air. I've changed my answer. I forgot I hate Uller. Uller. I I hate these button spammers. As soon as the ability's up, slam it. Just get my abilities up. I hate it. I hate it. Gisha. I hate Uller. For mages, a lot of mages to choose from, and there's actually like a lot of really cool ones that I think Hyrus is going to cook with. Raw is a pretty common answer. My only issue with Raw is that he's just super basic. N not that there's anything wrong with that. I just like seeing what Hyrus does when they're allowed to get in their bag and kind of cook a little bit. I'm actually going to say, and this might be a little surprising, I'm going to say Maman. I think Maman is one of my favorite characters in Smite 1, and I think if they can make her feel a little bit more clean, how the three works, and, and maybe just like update her kit a tiny bit i think she could be a lot of fun there's no wrong answer with a lot of these mages like nox i'm excited to see what they do for her considering what they did with nuwa which was awesome there is a, a vulcan what are they gonna do there are so many of these gods that i'm very excited for i want to see what they do with these healers hell and afro mages are probably the hardest one to choose for ones that i'm most excited for the ones i'm least excited for or, or the one that i'm least excited for um i was gonna say poseidon but he's not that bad maybe baron kind of think baron's lame maybe the harder part of it is deciding which ones are not sounding fun. I'll say Baron. I just never enjoyed playing him. Like a skill shot three. He's like hit three, two, one, job done. Miss three, miss two, one, job not done. His ult is kind of cool and it has some like outplay. I don't know. There's just something about Baron that just it doesn't excite me. And then lastly, the assassins. This one, easy, easy. The one I'm excited for, and this is surprising to a lot of people because I said it to Aggro and he was like, oh, you don't want like Naja? Like, yeah, I would like Naja, but bro, Cleo. I want to see what they do with Cleo and how they make Cleo more smooth and like 
how they'll get in their bag with her. She is one that I think is cool in Smite 1, and I think she'll be even cooler in Smite 2 with the effects, how she plays, how much smoother she is, how much better she'll be because she'll just feel better. I'm excited to see how they cook with Cleo and what they do with her. As a support player, Daji is the most frustrating assassin in the game. She forces beads, very little counterplay. She kind of just kills you, slows you. She wastes a lot of time. Like if you do have a good counter pick into her, she just wastes a ton of time in the air. She counters just like a bunch of characters. And yeah, I, I mean, I hate her. I hate her, but I recognize it's because I play support and she's really good into most supports. So I, I recognize it, but still I hate Daji. But yeah, those are the gods I'm most and least excited to see for Smite 2. I'm hoping most of the, the good ones are put towards the front and the bad ones are put towards the end. The only thing I know is Sylvanas is going to be one of the last ones, which is unfortunate and very very sad, but still excited for him nonetheless. Again, let me know down below. What are you guys most excited for? Least excited for? One for every role. I'm curious what you guys think, but I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys again next time. Peace.